Hello friends, in this video we will see how to use Newton's first law to calculate the frictional forces. So the objective of this session is to calculate the frictional force in a horizontal motion. So we will calculate coefficient of a static friction and coefficient of kinetic friction when an object is moving on a horizontal plane. So let us discuss this problem. So problem says you want to move a 500 Newton crate across a level floor. So this is the crate that is given and the weight of this crate is given basically this is 500 Newton and this is the level floor on which you want to move this crate. To start the crate moving you have to pull with a force of 200 Newton horizontal force. So if you want to pull this in the horizontal direction, you have to apply a force of 230 Newton. Once the crate breaks loose and start to move, you can keep it moving at a constant velocity with only 200 Newton. So this means you can apply relatively a smaller amount of force to keep this moving with a constant velocity. What are the coefficient of a static and kinetic friction? So we have to calculate coefficient of kinetic friction and coefficient of a static friction. So let us do this problem. So what are the things that is given? So we have been given weight of crate that is 500 Newton and we have been given the force, there are two forces in one situation it just loses its break. In that case force is equals to 230 Newton. Let's call this as F1 and when this is moving with a constant velocity force required is 200 Newton. So these two forces are given and what is my target variable? So target variable that is unknown in this case that is coefficient of a static friction and coefficient of kinetic friction that is mu s and mu k. Now how will you solve this problem? You see there are two situations. In one situation this is not moving. That case crate is in equilibrium. So we can apply Newton's first law. In the second situation it is moving with a constant velocity. Since this is moving with a constant velocity, this is still in equilibrium. So we can apply Newton's first law in both cases. So we will consider Newton's first law and we will draw the free body diagram and then we will write the equation and then we will calculate the coefficient of frictions. So what is the idea? What is the flow chart to solve this problem? So we have to basically first draw the free body diagram. And once I have the free body diagram, I can apply Newton's first law. So Newton's first law. We can apply Newton's first law. And once we have written Newton's first law, we can solve for unknown. That is the flow chart for solving this problem. So solve for unknown. So in this case, unknown is mu s and mu n. So let us try to solve this problem. We will consider two cases that is case 1 and in this case this is not moving this is in the rest so crate is in the rest. So what are the forces that is acting on the crate? So if you consider crate as a point mass one force is acting that is in the downward direction that is the weight of the crate and the floor is applying a horizontal force. So basically vertical force and that is the normal reaction. Now we are applying or the person is applying a force in the horizontal direction and magnitude of this force is F1 and we said earlier this is nothing but 230 Newton. Now this floor on which this crate is kept. So if you try to pull in this direction the crate will not move because there is a friction force that is acting between surface that is ground and between the crate and this force try to oppose the motion of the 
great so this will act in this direction so the friction force always try to oppose the motion so crate tries to move in this direction so this force will be in this direction so we can say in this case friction force will act in this direction let us call this friction force as f1 what will the magnitude of this force magnitude will be mu s times n why mu s because at this point of time this crate is not moving so we will use coefficient of a static friction so now we can write equations that is newton's first law we can apply so let us apply in the x direction and the y direction so we'll consider this direction is my x direction and this direction is my y direction so this is the sign convention for this problem so this is the positive x direction and this is the positive y direction so now if i consider summation of all the forces in the x direction this has to be equals to zero because this crate is in equilibrium so force says has to be equals to zero that is if you sum all the forces so what are the forces acting in the horizontal direction the x direction one force is f1 that is this force another force that is friction that is acting in the opposite direction that's why we have taken a negative sign and this is equals to zero because when the two forces are acting in this case f1 minus a small f1 now the friction force we can also write mu s times n in this case so this is negative sign and this is equals to zero so this is my equation one now we can also write by direction equilibrium that is summation of f y is equals to zero so in the y direction we have normal reaction and bait is acting in the downward direction that's why negative sign and this is equals to zero so this gives you normal reaction is equals to bait of the crate so this is my equation two so from equation one and two i can calculate mu s so let us plug the value of n in equation one so from equation one we can write f1 minus mu s and n is nothing but w this is equals to zero so i can further write f1 is equals to mu s times w so from here i can write mu s is equals to f1 divided by w and f1 we know that is nothing but 230 newton and w is also given in this case w is 500 newton so if you solve this you will find the mu s value is 0 0.46 so coefficient of a static friction between the uh, block, the crate and the ground floor is equal to 0 0.46. So this we calculated by considering equation of equilibrium and considering Newton's first law. Now we will consider the second case. So in the case 2, this is moving with constant velocity that is sum of the forces is again zero so we can still apply newton's second uh, newton's first law only difference is in this case the friction force will be not a static it will be a kinetic friction because the crate is moving with a constant velocity so in this case you will have friction force that is kinetic in nature so let us draw the free body diagram so this is your object that is crate bait is acting in the downward direction we will have a normal reaction and this force is f2 that we know that is 200 newton and this time friction force let's call this is f2 and this will be kinetic in nature so mu k times n we can write equation of equilibrium so this is again x direction and this is my y direction sum of the forces in the x direction is equals to zero this means f2 minus a small f2 this is equals to zero this means f2 minus mu k times n is equals to zero this is my equation one now i can write some of the forces in the y direction is equals to zero this means normal minus bait is equals to zero 
this gives me normal reaction is equals to bet and this is my second equation now if i use the second equation in one so from equation one i can write f2 minus mu k and n is nothing but w this is equals to zero so from here i can write mu k is equals to nothing but f2 divided by w and the value of f2 is known that is 200 newton and the weight of the crate is also given that is 500 newton so we can plug this value and we can calculate coefficient of kinetic friction and this turns out to be 0.4 so now in this case we know that is mu k is equals to 0.4 basically you can compare the two values the coefficient of a static friction as we calculated earlier that was 0.46 and coefficient of kinetic friction that we just calculated that is 0 0.40 so as is expected you can expect that coefficient of a static friction should be larger than the coefficient of kinetic friction and that is the case here you see the coefficient of a static friction is 0.46 which is greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction which is basically equals to 0.4 so in this video we seen how do you calculate the coefficient of friction and there are two types of coefficient of friction when the object is not moving the friction forces that is acting on the object that is a static in nature and the, when the forces are acting and the object is moving with a constant velocity in that case you have coefficient of kinetic friction. In both cases, the object remains in equilibrium and you can apply Newton's first law. So we applied Newton's first law and calculated the coefficient of friction for the both cases. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy, please share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.